three kids, four challenges, a high stakes competition to win the prize maker station, $25,000, and the opportunity to help design a KiwiCo crate. Welcome to a whole new sport designed to give kids the skills they'll need to invent the future. Over the coming weeks, three contestants will go head to head to tinker, fine tune, and totally make a mess through four challenges. But only one will win the prize maker station and get the opportunity to help design a KiwiCo crate. Welcome to Innovators of Awesome, presented by KiwiCo. Welcome to our third challenge. I'm Dr. Stephanie Castillo, scientist and YouTuber. We're getting closer to finding out who will be the champion innovator of awesome. Today is all about determination, which is something every innovator needs because, well, it's hard to innovate. Sometimes you don't get it right on the first or the second or the fifth or the 500th try. So you need to have determination to keep going until you make your breakthrough. After an amazing undersea race, Salah leads with 400 points, Nolan has 300 points, and Jackson has 200. And I just heard the mega whale super sweepers are taking a nap after they had such an astounding amount of whale food. It could all change with today's challenge. Once again, 100 points for third place, 200 for second, and 300 points for first place are on the line. So, armed with bottles, baking soda, and citric acid fuel, a big gulp of determination, we're going to be blasting off into the exciting world of rockets. I believe you all had some experience with rockets at home, right? Yes. Salah, so, how high do you think your at-home rocket went? At the highest? I got taller than my dad. Okay, that's good. So, maybe 10, 11 feet. Nolan, how high do you think your rocket went? Maybe up to around the blue ring. Oh, all right, that's a good guesstimate. And Jackson, how high do you think your rocket how went? How high is two stories? Oh, two wow. Two stories high. <laughs> That's, that's was a little bit taller. That's than that's taller. <laughs> Maybe it's up to the big. red. <laughs> a, no, I think it was about the yellow. It was a big. It was a big boom. So now that we're all rocket scientists, shall we find out what we're going to do today? Yes. 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 All right. Let's head on over to our workstations. Ooh. Go ahead and take a look inside your stations. Look at all the materials that you have. Do you see anything interesting? A about bottle. Eggs. eggs that have faces oh. on this bottle. And we got rocket protection material. You make a cone out of this, I think. Yeah. Then... Your goal will be to modify your mega bottle rocket with a special passenger seat for these little eggs, which are actually kiwis if you look at their faces. You get points yeah. for how high you launch, measured by these special rings, and you'll also get bonus points if your passenger lands without going splat. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but this is good practice if you want to be rocket scientists. The first design phase is 15 minutes, then you'll test your rockets. After that, you'll have 10 minutes to improve your rockets, and then we'll test again. Contestants can score points in two ways. First, they'll be graded on how high their bottle rockets travel. And second, there are bonus points available if their kiwi egg survives the journey. Starting now. Yes. I know exactly what I'm doing. I think I'm losing hope already. No! <laughs> I didn't actually, like, know what the materials under the table were for. Besides, I can use like the foam for wrapping it around the egg. I got this. I feel confident, so confident. When I was building, I was trying to make it, well, my rocket, a little bit like the one in the crate, since that one worked really well. What is that? Oh, that I did an egg good. drop once and I'm doing a design that I did. We should have looked at that more. That actually might work. I wrapped the egg in protective material and then stuck it in the tip of the rocket. I have an idea for this. What does a rocket look like? Look, a point, a cylinder thingy, and fire. That's it. You guys have five minutes. Five what? minutes? No. We gotta, we gotta start wrapping up I on our bills. I can't think of what the thing looks like. Wait, wait, there's an example rocket here. That's the fit. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for showing me this. 30 seconds. I need to I didn't do my egg thing. What if I only have one thin thing? At the very end when they were like 30 seconds and I was like, I'm just now finishing the second fin. So I guess I'm just not gonna have time for the egg thing. 10, <laughs> no. I nine, can do this. no. Can do eight, it. Ugh. Seven. No egg support. Six. Ugh. Five. Four, three, no. okay. two, 
One. Done. All right, contestants, we prepared one standardized launch pad you'll be using. Pour in water, then put in the mixture. Quickly press the launch pad in place and then put the cap in, turn it over, and then put it onto the launcher. You'll have to make sure your kiwi stays in place, so this might be a little tricky. You'll take turns to launch what you've built, and then you'll get a little more time to make design changes, then launch again. We're going to securely add this, make it super tight and snug. Okay, Five, let's go. Two, I'm scared. Three, Eight. Two, one. Oh! Oh my gosh, you got so high! It went to yellow. Oh my gosh! Salah launched her rocket up to the third level, but since there was no egg in her rocket, no bonus points. Next up is Nolan. Five. And step back, four, step back, step back. Three, oh. two. One. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Nolan, that launch didn't go as high as we anticipated. What do you think we can change for next time? Maybe remove this yellow foam bit to make it easier. Yeah, what do you think the yellow did? The yellow foam did? It didn't allow it to slide down at all. So that's a good note for next time for the second launch. Nolan's rocket did not launch, so zero points. Last but not least, we have Jackson. Did you name your egg? His name is Jeff. My name of the kiwi egg was Jeff. J E F F F. Jeff. Okay, place it down, place it down. Step back. <laughs> Five, no, it shouldn't be. Four, three, two, one. Waiting to launch. Oh! Great launch. Let's check your egg. <laughs> I think it's attacked. Hi. It's I think it survived. You think it survived? Yep. Let's reveal GF. GF survived. GF survived. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Jackson's rocket only launched the first level, but his egg survived, so he got a slight lead going into the second launch. That was the end of the first launch. You will now have another chance to refine, optimize your designs. This is where determination really comes into play. Think about what you can do to perfect your launches, and I'm sure we don't want any scrambled eggs on the floor. So, this time, you'll only have 10 minutes. What? <laughs> what? Can do this. Ready, set, go. Yes. Okay. I feel confident in I'm myself. I'm starting. I didn't have enough time to eat my egg on the rocket on the first launch, but it ended up doing really well, so. Which was probably actually a good idea, because the egg made it too heavy the egg in here, I'm just going to secure it together. After the first launch, I was afraid that the rocket would go up the second time. So first, I cut the sides of the foam uh, so it could actually slide in. And then I just made sure the egg was secure because I needed the extra points at that time if it didn't fly that far. How was yours, guys? How was yours working? So what I did on my second design was I kept the tip the way it was, but I took the egg out of it and just taped it to the rocket. You think you have too much weight? I oh, thought that's a good idea for me too. I think I you were there. right. I think I had too much weight. I am not gonna uh, do I that. need tape too. Where's my tape go? It's all under control. I have the pointiest rocket here. None of us are freaking out inside of our heads. Ah. Oh, I am totally freaking 30 out. 30 seconds. I'm totally I need to not take this freaking off. out. I'm definitely not saying ah, in my uh, I need to get a piece of tape. No, no, no. 10. Nine. Yeah, Where's the tape Seven. Let's just hope the six, best for this egg. Five, four, three. I need. Can I put this two, tape on? Two, one. Ready for your final launch? Yeah. Yes. This time, your points count as double. What? what? Yes. Salah, you're gonna go first again. Oh shoot! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Ready? It. Step back! Step back! <laughs> Five, oh, the egg four, might fall out. Three, yeah, I feel two, like it might fall one. out. Uh, it's just oh, oh. And my egg is dead. Is, that egg is dead. All right, go ahead and grab your bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bottle's destroyed. Wait, is it really? Oh, and the egg. Oh, the egg. Oh, yeah. oh, the egg. <laughs> the law's rocket blasted past the first ring, but her egg was smashed. <gasps> Nolan, you're up next. You ready? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, let's see if your passenger stayed alive. Dead. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> D E D. Disgusting. <laughs> and there's liquid in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Nolan managed to launch his rocket all the way up to the third ring, yet his egg did not survive. Oh. All right, put it down, put it down. Hurry, oh, run! Step, step, go, back. run! Go. Five, oh, four, good. three. Please. Two, so one. I am scared right now. Ah! Oh! 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 Safe and sound. And then give the egg. And then give the egg. Survive. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. We need proof. He survive. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Amazing. Awesome job. Jackson's egg survived an incredible flight, and thanks to extended nose he added to his rocket, it just touched the fourth ring. Between the first launch and the second launch, the winner is. Jackson. Yes! Congrats, congrats. Air high fives, everyone. Clap, clap. With all of these Kiwis and points flying around, let's look at our scoreboard. Between their first and second launches, Salah scored a total of seven points, Nolan landed 10, and Jackson scored ahead with 36. So for coming in third, Salah will receive 100 points, bringing her three-day total to 500. Nolan, coming in second place, will receive 200 points, bringing his overall total to 500 points. And Jackson, coming in first, will receive 300 points, which amazingly brings his overall total to 500 as well. We have a three-way tie. What? No. Each oh, one of you has 500 points. <gasps> Wait. Now that we're all tied, I'm feeling pretty nervous. We're all tied up. So that means this final competition. Clever wins it, wins it all. I have a good chance of winning the last challenge, but also Sila and Nolan. Nolan hasn't won a challenge yet, but he has come really close with the whale food. Well, Jackson won, then I won, and he got last place, then he won, and I got last place. So that means I have to win again. It's a pattern. I think depending on what it what the last challenge is, it could be anyone's game. This challenge really propelled all of our innovators to new levels of focus, but I think it's going to be really interesting to see if they can bring all of that newfound determination to the test next time. We'll find out who can turn potential energy into reality. We'll find out who makes it all the way and connects with the grand prize of $25,000, the prize maker station, and the chance to help design the next KiwiCo crate.